I thought I'd do a quick little video for the ladies um, about what I bring into the shower. Well, yeah, you know, you get the point of it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start with the shampoo and the conditioner. I got this from Dollar Tree. And it is three fluid ounces. If you're in drive away, you might be able to bring this on the plane with you. I'm not sure. It's been a while. But I like the size of it. And it's really nice and it smells really good. Plus a dollar each. Um, they have like a bottle like this size for head and shoulders. But head and shoulders just dries my hair out. And usually when I do a two in one, it doesn't work out well for me. My hair gets really knotty. Um, this is what I use for my face. I got this from Five Below for four bucks, and I got this from Dollar Tree. I really like Dollar Tree stuff. That's amazing. Um, they also have Bolero products that you guys should try out, but I highly recommend. Um, you know, if you're at home, you don't have a spa day or whatever. I got this from Five Below. It's a leave-on mask, so, um, before I head out on the road, I, if I need, like, a hydrating feel for my face, I use that, especially being in Florida, with the heat and the humidity, that helps a lot. And it's not heavy on your face, which is nice. I also got this dry shampoo from Dollar Tree. The smell is very strong. Um, it's okay. I have very oily hair. So every, like, four days, I will have to, like, spray. So I'm going to see how that holds up. And then, since I'm going to be straining my hair more often... I got this yesterday from Walmart and I use this for I've been using this for a while I put this in my hair when it's wet and before I strain it and I believe this is supposed to go into my hair while it's wet yeah damp hair and comb through do not rinse and as you already know in my other video I use this that I bring to the bathroom with me and all my shower stuff well this goes in there so I can use this while I'm in the bathroom but all this stuff goes into my bag, or I have one of these that goes into my book bag. This will probably help you too if you're doing drive away and you have to take um, a plane or whatever. Or even if you, you know, you're coming into the hotel room by yourself, you can just throw this in your bag and just bring this whole thing into the shower with you. Don't have to go searching for everything, which is nice. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys what I use. So I hope you guys like it and try that. I know it's big it's ridiculously big especially if you're going to be doing uh drive away by yourself you gotta like pay attention to the sizes of stuff but this smells really good i like the scrubs especially if you're um shaving um scrub like sugar scrubs and stuff like that will help you in my opinion it helps me but yeah thought i'd just show you guys that in case you know you like that <laughs> and i got this off amazon travel to live um no more than 20 bucks. I believe this is on... This is on my Nomadic. That Nomadic couple. Um, my must-haves. Check that out. I also use this, too. It's alright. It's a gel. It's not like a cream or a foam. Got that from Dollar Tree, too, but it smells good. But yeah, that's what I use. I don't think I use anything else. I can also show you guys my bag that I bring. I bring a book bag now. And it's actually a diaper bag, but I like that the front of it has um, stuff that I could put. Like, I could put that stuff in there if I wanted to, just slip it right in. That's supposed to be made for bottles. That's cute. It's floral. Oh, I actually was able to find a case for the GoPro. I bought stuff, actually. I should probably show you it. We went to Best Buy, and I got this action camera accessory kit. I think this was 20 bucks. Not... 100% sure, but this came with it. This is a waterproof case that comes on it. I have it out of it, but I found a case Really Cody I found a case for 20 bucks on Amazon and there's a locker nearby so we're gonna deliver it to the locker and I'm just gonna pick it up I know. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry if this video is all over the place, but I keep thinking of stuff to tell you like they're at the time so to help anybody out, this is the bag that I use, and it has, you know, in case you're in drive away, or even if you know, you're in tow away, or if you ride with your husband or whatever, this has padding, which is, it feels really nice, and then this opens up, I got Cody's stuff in here, but this has little pockets and stuff in it, 
Okay, smells the sweater. And then this is a pocket right here. And uh, this opens up as well. There's nothing in here, but my um, my tablet's gonna go in here, and my folder with my paperwork. If like I'm not on a run currently, and I'll put my clothes in here. As you can see, it's pretty spacious. Uh, that big body wash goes right into the corner. Um, when I'm doing my clothes, I I I brought a crazy amount when we first started. So now I don't bring that many. How many do I have? One, two. Like five shirts, five shirts, five pair um, leggings, and I think seven pair of underwear. Yeah, because you never know. You know, you might have a really bad bladder, or you might have had to do number two really bad and you didn't make it to your bucket. <laughs> so, what I do is I get a pair of leggings, I get a pair of underwear, and then I get a shirt, and I put that away. Then I get another pair of leggings, underwear, shirt, and then place that on top of it. And I keep doing that and layer it on top of each other so when I'm in the truck and we're at a gas station and I need to change my clothes, all I have to do is just pick out the top layer. You know what I mean? So my underwear and bras or whatever will be already set in the clothes. My outfit would already be like set so I just have to grab that instead of going through it and finding okay there's the leggings where's my underwear now where's my shirt you know it is very rude of you to be interrupting me while i'm trying to do a video oh another thing i forgot to tell you in my other video how i said bring a smaller bag i regret saying that if i mean if you're if you're bringing this with you because you're driving by yourself then you're okay but bringing that it's let me explain don't don't mind all this so now when I do you know drive away I have to bring this in the truck with me I have to bring this in the truck with me I now have to bring my folder my phone charger my Bluetooth um, headset. I think that's it. And my purse, my small purse. So now, when I'm dropping off, I have to make sure that I grab everything that I have and I don't leave anything behind. So if I had a bigger bag that you guys have seen me carry, I'd be able to just throw all this in there. So we actually have a big Best Buy bag that I'm going to use for now until we get down to Florida to throw all my stuff in there. But you do not want to forget anything in that unit because say if you're in drive away and you're by yourself and you're already heading to the airport and you're like oh my gosh i can't believe i forgot my phone charger or i forgot this or i forgot my plate you have to make sure that you bring your plates it is very important that you do um they will charge you if you lose them um we've had you know we've had um a thing where we forgot our plate we were 10 minutes away luckily the unit was still outside. It actually happened a few two times. So you have to have um, a routine of what you do. That way you don't forget anything. So for my opinion, what I think you should do is after, when you drive up to that dealership, stop for a second. Don't hurry up and rush inside because then it's you're going to get all, you know, grab your stuff first. Put it in your book bag, your purse. Whatever it is, say your book bag. Grab all your stuff, put it in your, in your book bag. Then go outside, do your pre-trip, take your plate off, then go inside and do everything. That way, when they come and check it, they can give you the paperwork and you can just go. Just trying to make it easier on you. Um, when I do my first load, I'll show you guys what I do. But that's it. I just wanted to show you guys that. You're very rude. Yeah, you're rude. Eh, he's still rude. You look at cute. <laughs> so we dropped off our first fifth wheel. And we did a video. You guys can go check it out on our other channel. We are at the Portage Service Plaza in Ohio. I'm just doing this video to let you guys know to bring food with you because everything in there is completely shut down. 
um, every food um, place that was there is gone. The food, um, the cafeteria area is completely blocked off. You can't even like sit in there. Um, where they sell like drinks and stuff. Oh my God, this is, this is what we're having for dinner. Lunchables. Woo! <laughs> but I thought I'd just let you know. You still can use the bathrooms and stuff. Um, when we were heading here on the highway, it said that there was limited diesel. But while we were here, we started filling up. So hopefully that's not true. But just to let you guys know, that way if you're on the road, just to keep an eye out for the service plaza. It's the Portage Service Plaza in Ohio. But I'll let you know. Excuse me in case you're hungry. Because I like to eat a lot. And in case you like to eat a lot too. There's no food here! <laughs> Cody is pissed. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna heading to Indiana. So that way I can do my orientation and head out on the road. So the next clip will be me after my orientation telling you guys how it went. I swear it's another day. And yes, we're in a hotel again. I have orientation tomorrow. So, yeah, alright. So, <laughs> I didn't get an email or anything about orientation, the meeting, nothing. So I was like, oh my god, tell me that something messed up on it. Who is it? Hi. Ugh. Ugh. drinks. So I didn't get anything from the anything. from the company, so I started getting nervous because at first we didn't know if we were gonna be able to make it up here or not in time. And then I called them like a day later, saying, "Okay, I'm gonna be able to make it." Um, that was like a week ago. So I had to call them again today, asking, you know, making sure that they had me on for tomorrow and they didn't so long story short they were able to get me on I went running over to the drug testing place and I peed when I got here because I had to go so bad so when I got to the place I didn't even fill it up halfway it's supposed to be halfway well I wasn't even close she looked at it and giggled and said no you trying to blind the people that follow me <laughs> so I was there for an hour just to be able to Pee. So I'm there in the waiting room just chugging cups of water and I feel that I have to go and I'm like I don't want to go and then it's not enough. I was getting anxious but I filled it more than half so that was good. Then we had to go to Bell Tire and I was like oh I really got to go and I could have filled up six of those cups. <laughs> but I start tomorrow so I'm pretty excited. I have to do a road test. Ooh, I'll be fine. I'll be alright. I drove a bus in New York City. I'll be alright. But next clip. Ooh, if nothing happens today, if I don't get attacked by a dog, if Cody doesn't get attacked by a dog, the next clip will be. Ooh. 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 <laughs> next clip will be of me starting. Ooh. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next clip. Today is the day, my orientation day, finally. Um, I'm gonna do it on my computer because I don't want to do it on my phone. So if you have a computer or a tablet, do it on that. Because eh, on the phone, it's I don't know. if you're on the road, though, it's perfect to do it on the phone. Um, if you're staying at a hotel, you know how we like staying in a red roof. So if you have orientation, I think orientation ends at 12, right? I think it, yeah. So checkout's 11, so you could just call the front desk and let them know that you need a 12 p.m. checkout, and they do it. No problems. It was a little. Bleh. With a little sweater. <laughs> Put your hoodie on. Coffee. <laughs> Here we go. Wait, man. <laughs> Kisses for everybody. Oh. Show everybody what it says. It says you can't. Really? It says you can't ban these guns. <laughs> Because your legs are just so big, little bum. Little muscles. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to finish getting ready. And then I'm going to start orientation in about 40 minutes. Woo! Are you excited, Cody? I have a new cover, so you guys won't be seeing my hand covering half the screen sometimes. Um, our goal is to try to get... We've got X this on my channel. <clears throat> and Sean's channel. We'll address it on his channel, too. Our goal is to try to go to the same place or heading... Like the same way. But our goal is to head to Virginia. 
my only concern today is Friday, so I hope they take a Saturday delivery because it only takes a day to deliver it. And then um, head back up. He can self-dispatch. I can't, so after that load, I'll have to wait. But let's get this over with so I can just start making the money. <laughs> like, oh, he's so cute. No, he's not. <laughs> we have, so whenever, whenever, lately, whenever we stay at Red Roof, there's open, this, what, like, this is like the third time we've been here and someone no recognized Sorry. us? It's like the 15,000. <laughs> Sean! The hero! Okay, anyway, they recognize us. <laughs> no, it is a lot, though. It is, yeah. more and more. Yeah, every time we hear, there's always somebody that knows us. A few you people, too. To Brad Pitt. You're too short. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, they and you guys can talk to us and stuff. If you see us, don't, you know, don't touch Cody, please. Yeah. He's not friendly. Don't touch me, either. <laughs> he always wants to, like, pick me up and give me a hug. What? Yeah. Okay. But um, we're telling you, Cody is not friendly, so please don't attempt to touch. <laughs> we need a shirt that says, don't touch me, I'm not friendly. What, for him? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a douche. <laughs> <laughs> we should just get him a devil costume, because he's so damn evil. We should. I want to dress him up for Halloween, I thought that'd be cute. <laughs> now he's hiding. Alright, well, let me get ready for this class. Don't mind my crazy hair. I'm about to strain it before class starts, or attempt to do it before class starts. Um, I forgot to mention, so I get a binder. So this is where the big bag comes in handy, because the bag I have is too small. So I, everything that I have to carry, I have to carry that. I have to carry that green book. Um, and, you know, I have my wallet, I have my phone case, my uh, phone. Anyway, I'm carrying a lot of stuff, so I recommend you really do bring a big bag. And always check your unit the second time around to make sure that you didn't leave anything inside. Because like I said, then it'll be a nightmare if you're having to go and get it. Um, I don't know if I have to... Ha yeah, I do have to have the binder on me. Because I was going to say, if anything, I could just have it in Sean's truck. But I think it has like their insurance and stuff like that. For driveway, you don't have to have your own insurance. For towway, you need to uh, purchase insurance. And yesterday, they messaged me. You know, after that whole thing, I finally got the email of paperwork I had to fill out and stuff. And they sent me the wrong email. They sent it for tow away. And I'm like, like it's saying I need a marine battery. And I'm like, they expect a drive away driver to have a marine battery? So I called. And the guy's like, yeah. And he's like, no, 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 wait. He's like, no, you don't need it for um, tow away, drive away. I'm like, oh, okay. I was like, I don't need to come walking in there with a marine battery. And you're all looking at me like, what the hell am I doing? You know, and they can't expect somebody to go on so plane with a marine battery. See, so yeah, that was funny. Guys, I finished orientation. I got my first load. How long have we been driving? Like an hour and a half? Yeah, if that. So I got a 23 foot Chateau, Chateau, whatever. I got, um, I had to do a driving test. There's a couple of blocks that we had to go. It was me and another girl. There's three people together in the class. But one of them were already on the road. They already have experience with their wife. So he was uh, doing stuff with her. But yeah, I'm transporting this to Virginia. Him and I are able to go to the same place. Uh, it drives really nice, it has electronic shifts, I'm not too crazy about that. Um, inside is beautiful. Um, orientation was very quick, it was like what, three hours? Not even? Two. Two hours. There wasn't a lot of people in the class, so you just like flew by it. Um, we got a binder, we have a whole bunch of stuff we gotta carry, so keep in mind that you gotta bring a big bag to carry all that. Um, other than that, it's not too bad. It is overwhelming in the beginning, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you do have to, you pick, you pick it up on a quarter of a tank and you have to drop it off with a quarter of a tank. So make sure you do that or else you get in trouble. Um, you do get reimbursed for tolls going there and coming back, which is really nice. Uh, we're heading to Virginia with this. That is a backup camera, which is nice. So when I'm going into the next lane, I got my mirrors. But I also have the back up window. That way I can see the backup window. <laughs> the backup camera, that way I can see if there's anybody in my blind spot. There isn't someone that's in that lane trying to come me off is nice. I'm able to listen to the radio which is really nice too. Someone kept saying that they turn the radios off and then you guys sit there in silence. But nope, I'm able to listen. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We're going to head on the road. I Unfortunately, I can't film while I'm driving because the uh, ceiling vent is like going like this every time with the wind. And once you get on the highway, it's pretty windy. 
This does have wind assist, which is really nice. So when I'm driving and the wind gets really bad, it'll brake for me and slow me down. Nice. I'm on uh, cruise control, so that helps out. But yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions, just X down below. And we're gonna get back on the road. That way we can drop this off nice and early tomorrow. All right, guys, we're calling it a night. I'm tired. <laughs> we got a late start. Um, we have, a, I think, about like seven hours left. But I'm just gonna, we'll just finish it tomorrow. We're parked over here, and Sean's transporting this nice, beautiful fifth wheel. Usually, I park in front of him. That way, we could keep an eye out. But for tonight, I'm parked behind him. Just make sure that you have the keys and your wallet and whatever else with you before you close it up for the night. But that's the end of this part of the video. Um, a video of us drop, me dropping off and so I can see a little bit more about how it drove, etc. But I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, change of plans. <laughs> I'm actually going to move in front of him because I can't, all I can see is like the sides, well, you know, I mean the door and everything, if anything was to happen, I could see it, but at least, you know, in the, during the night, I could just look right in front of us. I don't have to like get out to check it. So I'm gonna hop in and just move in front. Unlock this. Thing is so freaking fancy. Oh, let me get in. Let's you it tells you not to forget your keys. Which it has like the it has like house keys. Like it's pushed to start. So it has this like regular for the side door, for the front doors, and for your compartments. But you need this to Lock and unlock your your um car and make sure you bring your keys. The guy that trained me just terrified me with so so here's the radio and now before I'm trying to click home so. At least that goes away. I like putting the backup camera on, so you just click rear cam, rear camera. That way I could see, and then I got it back up to move out of the way. So you got that. Then look at this. Attention assist. It's um. I suppose I suspended it. It's um. When the wind or whatever helps me, so that I don't know how I did that. Um, so yeah, for this, I don't even know if you guys can see, so I put my foot on the brake and I just press down and it goes to drive. If I need to do reverse, I just I press it up. If I need to put it in park, I press that button. And then this, when I start driving, it tells me if I'm not, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's weird. It tells you your last brake, which is completely wrong, and it's a, it tells you if you're low or high with paying attention on the road. Yeah, that's weird. But yeah, it's really nice. Um, I don't think I could get the lights on in the whole... No, I can't turn the lights on for the whole unit, so you can not even be able to see from here. It's fancy. Alright. And that thing keeps friggin' flapping. Alright, let me... Move in front of him, he's probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. Alright, so to go into reverse. Nope. Oh. Alright. Alright, let me pull up in front of him. And if anything else happens, I'll let you know. So, good night for now. So, this is my second time filling, well, third. When I got the unit, it was already like full. So, I put a little bit in, I didn't know it was full. But this is like my second time fueling up 5037 and on my card it'll show me my discount and uh, I'll tell you guys that later on at the end of the video how much I saved all right so showing I had to run to the bathroom so I might as well tell you guys how much I saved so I pumped 5037 
and I only paid $38.32. And now this discount is because it's a diesel unit. If I was paying cash, I would only saved, I don't know how much I saved in TA. I mean, if you do the rewards, I don't even know if you get anyway. Um, you probably wouldn't say get anything doing gas. But I really do like taking diesel units. And plus, Sean and I could pull into the same truck meal area. If I do, if I get a gas unit and I gotta drive over to gas and make sure we align back up. But yeah, that's not it's pretty good for me. So far, I'm making pretty good money with this run. Um, I will have to fill up again because we have 397 miles and I think I get like 380 something. And you have to have it on a quarter of a tank when you drop it off. Uh, when you pick it up, it's supposed to have a quarter of a tank, but mine was actually full. And this thing is so high tech that I couldn't even tell how many miles I had to eat. And now I don't even know how to get back to that to see how many miles I have, so that's fun. But waiting for him, and then we're gonna get back on the road. We're getting there at 2.32. We have till five, but I don't wanna get there till five because we have to shoot back up. Because he has a, another unit he has to pick up and he's bringing to this dealership, 17 footer. Cody's staring at me. Hi guys, I dropped off yesterday. Um, Sean and I were able to go to the same place. Uh, it was very quick and easy. Um, I made a really good amount um, with the this load. I'll do uh, my next video, we'll probably the one after that, will be about how much I made. But like I said, the only reason ha why I made so much is because it was a diesel unit and I was able to get the fleet discounts for diesel. If it was a gas unit, I wouldn't have made so much money, especially with the PA Mountains. You're fine. You don't need to be in the camera. You're all right. So I need to grab some stuff while I'm in here. And I'm going to grab some lunch. And then we got to pick up a 17-footer that's going back to the place we just dropped off at. See you guys in the next video.